quick video today on uh, how to make some low budget LED lights for your shop and uh, I said I'd have more LED videos in the future and so here we go this is one idea that I used and it worked pretty good and these are by no means full floor you know LED lights these are more uh, area LED lights like above your workbench above your bench grinder above your drill press and so on if you got a really dark shop like me with a lot of dark corners and uh, so these are repurposed Christmas tree lights just standard uh, strings of Christmas tree lights you can get these on sale after the holidays really really cheap sometimes 90% off and you want to get the brightest ones you can so of course you want to get blue or white light you know and uh, in the housing for these units you're just going to use a plastic flower pot and for right here you can use repurposed uh, you know whatever you whatever you got whatever you use your imagination this is this 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 uh, lens housing this is actually an upside down Tupperware container type of container this is some kind of straight flower pot that I cut down and uh, I made some different sizes. This is a small one. This one, I t this one, I took the whole holiday globe thing and stuck it right in there. And all these are epoxied together. You could use a glue gun if you wanted. And I did independently switch all these so I can turn them on and off with toggle switches. And I got one right here that I got plugged in. It's daytime, so you can't see this really good, but there. And it's probably it looks like it's pulsing on this video because even though it isn't in the room with me because this is uh, 4K, but that's what you're going to go for. And again, this one, let me get a side view. So we'll go flower pot, straight section, and then for your dome, upside down Tupperware container. And if you experiment a little bit, you can fit these together really well. And the whole strand of lights, you just stuff it right in there. And I, when I did it, I, I, I like taped them together so all the bulbs are facing this way. I don't know if you can see that when I turn it on not really but so there's really no wiring unless you want there to be you know you can actually stuff the whole strand in there with the bulbs facing out and then just make your plug-in connection in there and then make another for your cord just get an extension cord and, and run it in through the hole and then epoxy the hole closed whatever whatever you want to do I should show that on the other side how I did one of these Oh, this one right here, I just got the cord itself coming right out of the hole, and I epoxied over it. And then there's a hanger on there. I can hang it with chains, and the toggle switch is right on the top. And this one here is... Let's take a look at this little one. This little one, again, is just a cord ran in there, and there's a hanger. So this would hang in my shop just like this, above whatever machine center I'm at. Just like all these. And it's, it's, you know, you can make a, a really cool shop light for a couple bucks, literally, you know, and have it, and if something happens to it, who cares, you know? But, uh, this is one of my LED ideas. I'll be having more videos in the future. I, I mess around and experiment with these a lot. I hope this inspires you to create. I hope you enjoy my channel. Please subscribe. Please click like.